Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to compute the complement of a Boolean function. So, we have seen what a Boolean function is and the complement of any Boolean variable is usually when we convert a 0 to 1 when we take the complement. So, if x is 0, okay, x complement would be 1. If x is 1, x complement would be 0. So, in the same way, the function, when we consider a Boolean function and we want to take the complement of that function, all right, uh, let's see what happens. So, let's say I have, I have a, a two variable uh, I have a two variable truth table. So, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, I have a function f is equal to x y dash plus um, x dash y. Okay. You can try to recall which function this is. All right. So, what is x y dash? x y dash would be 1 if x is x is uh, 1 and y dash is 1. So, the first or x dash is 1 and y is 1. So, for the first term it is 0. Okay, since here x y dash would be a 0 and x dash y also is a 0. So, the or of both is a 0. In the second case, x is a 0. So, first term is 0. Second term, okay, would be a 1. So, output would be 1. In the third term, x is 1, y dash is 0, y is 0, so y dash is 1. So, first term is a 1. So, output is 1. In the second case, okay, first term is 1, y dash is 0. So, it is, result is 0. If you look at the second term, x dash which is 0 and 1 is 0. So, this is 0. So, this is a function f. So, if I want to take the complement of this, all we have to do is wherever f has a 0, we will make it a 1 and where it has a 1, we will make it a 0. So, f here now is the complement of this function. f dash is a complement of the function f. So, in a truth table, we can write like this. But what about the algebraic expression? That is, I had f is equal to x dash y plus x y dash. What is the algebraic expression for f dash? So, to do this, we need the theorem which we had discussed earlier called D Morgan's theorem. So, what is the D Morgan's theorem? D Morgan's theorem says something like this x or y complement is equal to x complement and y complement, and its dual is x y complement is x complement or y complement. So, this is your uh, De Morgan's theorem. So, using this De Morgan's theorem, we are going to find out the complement of a function. So, let me write this here. So, I have a function f which is uh, let us say b c dash plus a dash d. So, I have a, b, c, d, four variables here. Okay, I am not going to write the true table. I am just going to use de Morgan's to find the complement. So, the complement f dash can be written as a dash d complement. Okay, complement of this whole thing. So, according to De Morgan's theorem, we can, can we apply this? Okay, so x or y whole thing dash. So, this is also x or y whole thing dash kind of where this is my x and this is my y. So, x or y whole thing dash can be written as, according to De Morgan's, x dash dot y dash. That means, bc dash 
bc dash is x so x dash and y dash that is a dash d dash okay now let us apply de morgan again now this one bc dash complement so what is the complement of and when we have and here x y complement is x complement plus y complement so x complement plus y complement so if here now this is x and this is y so we will write it as x complement which is b complement plus y complement y complement y is c c dash is the complement uh, c dash is the is y so y complement would be this okay same way we can also expand for the next term that is a dash complement plus d complement so this can be written as b complement plus you can see c complement complement we have we have this x complement complement is equal to x okay so this will be c and this term would be a complement complement would be a and d complement so we have the complement of the function f can is this okay so a shortcut now here i have worked out according to the de morgan's theorem let's look at a shortcut let's notice the first term look at the first term bc complement so what has happened to the first term here in the complement okay b has become b dash c dash has become c so every literal has been complemented okay if it was uh, normally uh, when i have a variable like this x this is called unprimed unprimed and when i have x dash this is called primed this is a primed literal so here i have b was unprimed it has become primed here c was primed it has become unprimed here what about the operator it was a and it has become a or okay then this between in between the two terms look at the second term okay we'll come to this later in between this, the second term unprimed a primed a has become unprimed unprimed d has become primed okay and in between they had and operator which has become or and what about the, the operator in between it was the or it has become an and so in complement what we have is complement primed literals become unprimed and unprimed literals become primed operators they also change so and becomes or and or becomes and so given any given any uh, function okay let's say f is x dash y z dash plus x dash y dash z so if i have to find the complement of this in very swiftly i can do this every for every literal primed will become unprimed unprimed will become primed okay this is the first term in second term x y z dash okay what about the operators this was and here it will become or here also this way and it will become or and in between the two we had an or this will become an and so this is your complement so complement in complement you have uh, the uh, literals will change 
if they are primed they will become unprimed unprimed will become primed and the operators also uh, will change so this is how you can find the complement of a function without having to go through each and every uh, step and here you please remember the dual and the complement this is uh, quite a, a common uh, thing which is given in the dual what happens in dual if I have to find the dual of the function f then uh, I will have the operator will change but uh, the that is the the literals will remain as it is so dual of f if I say if I say the dual of f let's call it f dual okay what will happen operators will change that is x dash y z dash it was and it will become or this was here y dash plus z but you see the operands that is the li the literals this was x dash it will remain x dash this was y it will remain y so the literals do not change only the operators change in complement the literals also change and the operators also change so that's the difference between dwell and complement now after, after this video, after you have finished watching this video, you will be able to find out the dual and complement of any given Boolean function.